This is the all new Chroma from Horizon Hobby. In this video, you will learn how to install and use the graphic user interface for your Chroma. The first thing you'll want to do is grab the included micro USB cable and install it into the USB port on the bottom of the Chroma. Then take the other side of the USB cable and plug it into your computer. We're going to go to horizonhobby.com and search for the Chroma. Then we're going to select our version of the Chroma and download the GUI. You can also do this on flychroma.com or nochroma.com. We'll scroll down here to manuals and support and click on the Chroma GUI link. It will begin to download on your computer whether you have a Mac or a Windows PC. Once you've downloaded the file, open it up and click on the Chroma GUI folder. Here you will find Windows and Mac files. Because we're on a Windows computer today, we're going to open the Windows file. Open the application that says Chroma Setup. Now we're presented with the GUI Setup Wizard. Go ahead and click Next, then accept the agreement, then hit Next again, then Next again, and confirm that you have Microsoft Visual C++. Hit Yes, then hit Next, Next again, we're going to create a desktop icon so we can find our GUI again. Click Next, then click Install. Once it's installed, you can go ahead and hit Finish and launch the Chroma GUI. Now we can go ahead and turn on the Chroma. It's going to install the files needed, but if you need to install the USB drivers, see instruction point number one to download them. The first screen you are presented with is the sensor information screen. Here you can find all of the health of all your sensors on board the Chroma and make sure that the angles are working, the compass is calibrated, and that sort of thing. The next screen is the calibration menu. Here you can calibrate your accelerometer, calibrate your camera gimbal, you can get instructions on how to calibrate your Spectrum DX4 transmitter and even the compass. You can select which gimbal you're using and adjust your flight boundaries. The next screen is your GPS information. This screen is only really helpful if you bring your laptop outside and allow the Chroma to connect to satellites. Here you can see how many satellites you're connected to and the signal strength of each one. The last screen on the GUI is the device information. This tells you what firmware you're using, what GUI version you're using, and allows you to do firmware updates. Now we'll go through each screen in more detail. Let's go back to sensor information. This screen is going to show you again all your sensor data. You can move the Chroma on your desk and see it move on the screen, making sure that all your accelerometers and orientations are working correctly. This is mostly an informational screen, but one thing you can do on this screen is check your speed controllers and make sure your motors are spinning in the right direction. This is especially helpful if you've replaced a motor and you're not sure you plugged it into the right spot. To enable testing, on the top right of the screen you'll see a little checkbox. Click that checkbox and then another box will pop up asking you to confirm that you've removed all your propellers. Once you've accepted that you've removed the propellers, you can click on the four green circle icons on the top right of the screen to check the motor directions. As soon as you click on it, the motor will begin to spin and when you let go of the click, the motor will stop. The next screen we'll go into detail in is the calibration screen. Here you can calibrate your accelerometer by clicking the large top button of calibrate. You can calibrate the camera gimbal by clicking that calibrate button. You can click on instructions on each one of these and get instructions online. And you can select what type of gimbal. If you happen to be using the old GB200 gimbal, you can click that, but most of you will be using the Seago 2 GB gimbal, which works for the Seago 2 and Seago 3. Below that is the flight boundaries menu. This is how you select and adjust the geofence that comes default on your Chroma. The values listed are in meters, but you can change them to feet by clicking on the button on the bottom right of the screen. To adjust the value, you can click the arrow buttons up or down, or highlight the number and change it manually with your keyboard. Make sure you click the update button after you've adjusted the value, otherwise the Chroma won't know to update the fence. The GPS information screen is strictly to show the signal strength of each satellite and how many satellites you are connected to. It'll also give you your latitude and longitude, altitude and accuracy. There's nothing you can adjust on the screen, so it's just informational. The last screen is the device information screen. Here you can see what version of the GUI you're using, which firmware your Chroma is running, and also update your current firmware if there is a firmware file update. To get new firmware updates, click on New Firmware Available Here and you'll be brought to NoChroma.com. 
If there is an update, you'll be presented with a file download. Once you've downloaded the new firmware file, you'll need to select Firmware Update and then select the file from your desktop. Once you've made any adjustments to your Chroma using the GUI, all you'll need to do is turn your Chroma off and all those settings will be saved. For more videos like this, please visit nochroma.com.